everyone and welcome back to the fortitude fix i hope you're well my name is Deshana, and in today's vlog because it is vlogmas <laughs> i am bringing to you nova's two month update if you're interested in hearing all about her at two months old go ahead and just keep on watching Hey everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Today's Vlogmas video is going to be Nova's two month update. So let's go ahead and talk about what's been going on this month. I do have some notes from her two month doctor appointment in my phone so that's what I'll be looking at. Nova is probably gonna fall asleep in this video but I wanted to just make sure that you all can see her, see her pretty face. You say hi? Mama, you say hi? Yeah. Oh, there you go, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to be inserting some pictures and some video clips within this Vlogmas episode just to make it a little bit more interesting because she is a hoot, y'all. She is hilarious. Right now, she just ate, had a diaper change, and, you know, she's ready to, to knock out for her nap. So while we, <laughs> you and I talk, she'll start her nap. Okay. So we went to the doctors not too long ago and I will start off with all of her stats and figures and then we'll move into how she's been doing. Okay, so when we went to her two month doctor's appointment, she was 24.5 inches long or tall. That was her height. So yeah, she's, she's pretty long out here. <laughs> She was 11 pounds and 15.6 ounces, so that's not very far away from 12 pounds. Mind you, she might actually be 12 pounds now. I'm feeling she's a little heavy <laughs> as I sit here. And she basically is in the 64th percentile for her weight. She's in the 99th percentile for her height and the 90th for her head circumference. So, yeah. She's doing good. <laughs> She did actually have to get her shots, so she did get three vaccinations at this appointment and one oral. I think she did great in the appointments overall. I was the one who kind of had some issues because I think something happened between the doctor and the nurse. They got their wires crossed, so the doctor didn't put in that we were there for shots. The nurses didn't know. I'm waiting, you know, because they're pretty busy and backed up, but at a certain point, I had to kind of go out and track down a nurse, and the nurse that came in was, I'm sure, not the one who was going to do, you know, the vaccinations in the first place. They were just kind of like, oh, we forgot about you, <laughs> so who do we have that can go and do this? I didn't really appreciate the nurse that I had uh, that, you know, gave her the vaccines because they had forgotten about us, so the nurse who ended up doing it was, you know, like fitting us in, you know what I mean? So she was extremely busy and she kind of came in and was rushing. I felt her, you know, bedside manner wasn't the best. She was very uh, like quick and kind of just didn't, yeah, didn't fully give it her all. It feels like she was just trying to check it off the list before she did something else. So I didn't really like that feeling, um, you know, whatever. And I know everyone, feels differently about vaccines and you know having your child get vaccinated as for us in our household we are vaccinating our children and uh yeah that's that okay let's get into the things that nova doesn't love we'll start with those first nova does not like the hiccups she's not a fan every time she gets the hiccups it's almost as if it hurts her so she gets irritated and annoyed each and every time like over and over and over and you know the hiccups can last quite a while so she'll hiccup and then she'll be like Mah! <gasps> like it just happens and she just doesn't like her hiccups at all nova does not like when her father and i have conversations without her when we are talking and she's awake she wants to be a part of the conversation and she will let it be known that she is in the space and that we should not ignore her <laughs> Nova also does not like the clam quarter. <laughs> if you were born in the 80s and grew up in the 90s like me, you are familiar with the Rugrats. <laughs> and the clam quarter is it's like the phone in present time or the, you know, the actual cam quarter that you know you would kind of put on your shoulder. When we turn that on to try to like capture what she's doing, she will stop. She will completely clam up and stop. So we call it the clam quarter. She's not a fan. I'll go ahead and insert a clip here so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so 
Nova also does not love the car seat. If we are in the car going somewhere, we're moving, or even if I'm putting her in the car seat and I'm taking her immediately downstairs to the car, she's fine. But if we ever put her in the car seat too soon and we're still trying to get our stuff together to leave the house, she doesn't like to sit stationary in the car seat. Not at all. So we basically need to get all of our stuff together and putting her in the car seat is the very last thing we do before we walk out of the door because she doesn't like just sitting there. All right, let's get into what Nova does love. Nova loves to chat. She's become very, very chatty here in the last like week or two. Uh, yeah, I think you all saw that in that last clip. She talks up a storm, it's adorable. She loves smiling at mommy and daddy. Like, oh, this girl's smile, no teeth, just all gums, but it's enough to just make my heart melt and, ah. Uh, Did you see that? Did you see, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, she's so cute. She loves to eat. She loves it. She's been an amazing latcher. We are still exclusively breastfeeding. That to me, I, I feel like there's a different like understanding among what exclusively breastfed means, but we only use breast milk, I guess, <laughs> in, in our home, if that makes sense. We uh, nurse, so she will, you know, nurse with me, but I do, leave her with dad so she has a bottle about once a day and that transition was perfectly fine i was kind of worried i didn't want to introduce it too late but i didn't want to introduce it too soon but she was wonderful there was no confusion about anything what we have right now are the dr brown's bottles we also have the boon bottles and the komotomos and so she likes either one of those so she's doing good she's a great eater and dad has really like loved bottle feeding her so that's really awesome he has built a connection with her ever since the moment she was born I mean even before when I was pregnant they used to have their little conversations and she would respond to him and it was just the, the cutest thing to hear him talk and then to feel her respond to him it was it was cute so they've continued that adorableness <laughs> uh, to this day. I'm currently editing this video and I forgot to mention two things. Nova has found her hands so she's very excited about looking at her hands in front of her, playing with them and also putting them in her mouth. So she has been extremely drooly and I believe that is early signs of teething. Nova also loves to play the piano so we have a baby Einstein's four in one like musical play gym thing situation and it comes with like a little keyboard and you kind of just lay baby down and they can touch it or they can kick it with their feet and it plays notes and it you know has words and colors and numbers and animals and yeah it speaks to her in three different languages english spanish and french so she loves that activity gym and yeah if any of you are interested i'll go ahead and link it down below but she is a fan so <laughs> I will go ahead and insert a clip of her playing it right now. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all that's been going on. If you all want to know how the first month went and our first month update, I did a postpartum update as well as her one month update in a video. So I'll go ahead and link that here and I'll also link it in the description box below. And I plan on doing monthly updates of her. I do have a postpartum series here on this channel. So not every month will I do like a postpartum update but i do have some videos coming out for that series as well so go ahead and just make sure you check out that playlist of my postpartum series i think that there's a lot of conversations and a lot of uh, things that can stand to be talked about you know a lot of people kind of suffer in silence and if there's anything that you learn from my channel is that i'm going to be super real honest 100 percent and transparent with you having some of those tough conversations and sharing my piece in hopes that you watching can feel inspired and motivated to live and speak your own truth and yeah i'm just 
here to help <laughs> in any way that I can. So with all of that said, I mean, month two has been amazing. She's sleeping pretty well. She is going down for the night around between 12 and 1 is when she'll go out out and then she may wake up around 3 or 4 and uh, maybe again around 6 or 7 but it so once or twice that she wakes up throughout the night and there's been often times where we would get like four or five hour stretches of sleep so she is getting better with her sleep she's not you know up every hour or even every two hours anymore so thank god uh yeah for the past week and a half i've had her dad here i mean we're always here because we are not in our offices we're working from home but i am still on my maternity leave and he is taking two weeks of his paternity leave so yeah it's been good to have him kind of hang out with her and not have to worry about him working all day so that's been really good uh, especially in this second month of life for her Thank you all so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and make sure that you're subscribed so you don't ever miss another video, especially since we're uploading every single day up until Christmas. So with all of that said, I will see you all tomorrow in another Vlogmas video. And as always, remember to fill your cup. Bye.